All right, so today we're gonna talk about the new controller by Turtle Beach, the Turtle Beach Recon Xbox controller. Now, if you all have been with my channel for a while, you all know I'm a big Xbox controller fan. I collect them, I don't know what I'm at, like 32 or 34. I know, it's a crazy hobby, but I love collecting Xbox controllers. I just love the controller. So when it comes to aftermarket Xbox controllers, I get real questionable. I'm like, all right, are you gonna number one hold up to that shape, that durability in that field? So we're gonna cover a lot of that right here. Number one, we're gonna be talking about the white one, the black one, compared to regular Xbox controller, the newer one with the Series S and X, and then also the Elite controller. We have the Series 2 here. Also talking about these guys having the audio controls on them. We're gonna talk about using them with a standard gaming headset and then all the way up to like a $900 gaming headset. Is this controller gonna be able to stand up to again the competition or heck, the main one right over here, the Xbox controller. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box right here. As you see the front of the box, we have the white one, we have the black one, just looking at the control. You can see, wow, we got a lot going on. Looking at the back of the box, you see more of what we have going on with the advanced EQs and all that. The uh, scout mode, the pro aim, the ergonomic grips and everything. You can just see it has so much going on here. Mic monitoring, vibration, EQ sets, presets, buttons underneath. And we're gonna take a look at all that right here. Again, looking at the black and the white one. Now, as far as in your box, you're gonna get your controller, whichever color you pick, and then a 10 foot coiled cable here, nice and durable. And yes, it does connect by USB-C right on the back of the controller. So right there, talking about it connecting by USB, again, C into the controller and then USB-A into whatever device you want. This is all gonna, also gonna work on your PC or again, any of your Xboxes. The majority of my test was with the Series X, but I did dabble with some of it on the PC. And again, it's as simple as plug and play. No software, no charging, no nothing. Again, plug it in and start playing. So before we dive into the controller and start looking at like, wow, everything that's going on with these, you know what I mean? Me personally, number one, how does it stack up to the original Xbox controller? Again, we have the newer one here, but it's the same as the ones that came on the S and the X back then, right? So looking at the controller, as you can see, there's a lot more going on on the Turtle Beach one. But other than that, the core thing that makes the Xbox controller great is the shape, the ergonomics. And when this Xbox controller is in your hand, it's perfect. So does the Turtle Beach one have that as well? Yes, it does. Now when it's in my hand, it does swoop a little bit more right here. I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up. Probably very hard to tell. As you see, this one kind of comes a little bit more straight up. This one swoops just a pinch. It's so slight, probably not even noticeable. But in your hand, if you can see, again, I got a little tiny gap right there. When I, whoops, when I come over to the Xbox one, it almost wraps perfectly with it. Now that's gonna be different for everybody's hand shape, of course. As for me, the Xbox controller is a dream. Some people may say it's too big, some too small or whatever, you know. This, what I would do the perfect comparison of this Xbox or the Turtle Beach controller to, if you want to know how it's gonna feel, I feel like it's a mix of the PlayStation 5 controller mixed with the Xbox controller, right? How the PlayStation 5 swoops in, you just have that a little bit here, not as drastic, you know what I mean? But you still have that nice separation and that grip width with this controller as on the Xbox one. It's absolutely phenomenal in the hand. But how about build? How does it feel? Again, the Xbox controller is solid. It feels really good. When you go to third-party controls, you're kind of like, eh, that feels kind of chintzy, you know what I mean? You don't get that here. Now, it's not using batteries or anything, so yeah, it's a little bit lighter. Let's go on and get the scale out over here. Now, we do have two double A's in the Xbox because, of course, that's what it's going to use, so that's going to make it a fair comparison. Let's get it on here. We are getting 10.2 ounces. How do I change this to grams? 288 grams Xbox controller with double A's. It's Turtle Beach here. Now we're not gonna plug the wire in. That's just a little 228 grams on the Turtle Beach. What was this guy again? So 228 and uh, 290. Now just for the grins and giggles, let's pop these batteries out. I just wanna see, cause you can use these guys wired as well. 240 grams Xbox controller, no batteries. 228 so the turtle beach is still lighter and yes you do feel it now with the batteries out of the xbox it's pretty much almost feels spot on but all in all the build of this thing 
it's solid it really is it's not creaking it's not cranking it's not flexing feels really quality here now right in line with the build and the feel are the buttons do they feel great are they crispy are they as tactile as the xbox one do they feel as good as them and yes even the thumbsticks compared to the original xbox controller spot on the grips around the side the concave inside the size of them they're not big they're not too small they feel the exact same the d-pad right listen to the one on the xbox now the d-pad on the turtle beach me personally i like the turtle beach one it's just a little more smooth it's not as i don't know i've never liked you can watch all the way in the beginning of my series x video I never liked the D-pad, the sound of it. It just sounded clanky. I personally just don't like it. You know what I mean? Personal preference. I just really like this one. It does feel a little more mushy than the Xbox ones. Now, as far as the thumbsticks, press down. Movement, they feel great. They're not too tight, not too loose. They don't feel too chintzy. As you see here, the Turtle Beach one is a little bit louder when I press those down to here. Now, X, Y, A, B. They feel the exact same to a T. Now, over here, when you look at the buttons on the Xbox controller, as you can see, you have that clear with the letters down there. On the Turtle Beach one, they're just like printed on the top right there. Honestly, I never noticed that until I just looked at it right here. But anyways, now you can see that. Now, where they are going to differ, and this might be... The only downfall of this controller is when we come to the back buttons right here. So looking at the Xbox One, I want you to hear this first and you'll catch me, right? So let's go with our main triggers. Again, stock Xbox. Turtle Beach. Okay, so I'm not too sure how well you could pick that up, but clear as day, the bottom triggers are RTs, LTs. Clear as day difference. I feel like I got a little bit more spring tension within the Xbox One. They feel great, they're just smooth, and they bottom out nice and soft, you know? Coming over to the Turtle Beach one, like the press is nice, but it bottoms out a little bit hard and just kind of gets a little bit of a, I don't know. Again, it just doesn't feel as smooth as the xbox one now coming up to the top buttons they feel the exact same i do have a little bit more give a little bit more mushiness on the top not sure how well the camera can see but you can see i can press a little bit you can see it budging bottom on the xbox it's kind of compare comparable right to the d-pad like a clicky d-pad clicky top button slightly a little more give on a d-pad on turtle beach slightly more give on our top buttons there as you see they do have the texture grips right there on the rts lts and rbs and it's actually really nice because it is truly grippy there now turn the controller over you're going to see our bottom buttons this is what's really nice about this controller those buttons you can map to whatever button you want and it's so simple again you don't need software you control it right on the controller now one thing i did notice and i'm going to plug this in and show you but i wasn't able to map these bottom numbers to my triggers up here maybe people don't want to do that i don't know but every time i tried to map it to these it just wouldn't map to anything so again i'm not too sure about that now before we plug it into software i want to pull out the xbox elite controller okay so we have it here, a little bit of mod, right? Some of the red touches. So as you see, there's a lot more going on here. We're trigger tension, which you don't have over here. But again, it's something I never used. But what I want to talk about is the grip of it, right? So we got these paddles on the bottom. I hold a controller and they're just like, you can probably see right here, like I almost got to make sure I'm touching them. It's not very easy. I'm accidentally pressing both of them or it's, it's not ideal on the Elite controller for me at least, right? Also, they stick out a bit. You can see right there, they're going from the grip, bam, sticking out. Take a look at the Turtle Beach one. They do stick out a little bit, but it's right in line. 
it's right with it. So when I grip the Turtle Beach, I'm not really changing my hand at all. I'm not lifting it up. When I go to the series uh, or the uh, Elite controller here, I feel like I gotta leave my fingers up and not really grip my controller. I can't get a firm grip. I'm like, I, I don't wanna touch the buttons right down there, right? When I come over to the Turtle Beach, when I hold the controller regular, and that's what's great about it, because it doesn't feel like you're doing anything different. Those buttons are just right there. You're not gonna accidentally press them. You still have the texture grip right there, so you feel them clearly, and it works fantastic. All right, so now I wanna talk about the feature that's absolutely game-changing. It's phenomenal. Again, it's so awesome, and that is the audio controls with the Turtle Beach controller. Again, I've tested with my Turtle Beach Recon headset here, and then my $900 Odd Easy headset, plugged straight 3.5 into the controller. So let's take our 3.5 again, bam, simply plug it right in down there, and then all of our audio options are going to light up. Now, talking about our volume right over here, as you go down, we'll see the light goes off. So now you know you're all the way down. When you press it up, it gets brighter for your volume. Now over here, you have your chat volume. So how much you're gonna hear your chat or how much you are gonna hear your game, or you can put it right in between. And again, the light gets dimmer or brighter as you go. Now coming over here again to select mode, you have your mic monitoring and you have four different presets again right there. I like mine on four, it's a really nice balance, it's not too loud or anything. But again, you have your mic monitoring that you can control with any headset. Straight 3.5, okay? So you have your chat to game volume adjustment, game volume adjustment, mic monitoring adjustment. Going further, EQ adjustment right on the stinking controller. And you got four different modes to select from again as you see in the middle you have turtle beach sound the standard signature sound you have bass boost treble boost and voice boost my personal favorites are turtle beach signature and then the bass boost i really love the bass boost and then over here if you press this button you have turtle beach what is that called turtle beach scout mode i'm personally not a fan of scout mode if you like that it drops your lows really brings out your highs I pers I'm personally not a fan of it. I love the EQ on those first two right there on any headsets. Talking about with the Recon 500s right here. Wow, it was so cool. It just, you were able to just pull something else out of the headset. The headset's awesome out of the box if you watch my review of this, right? Add a little bit of bass to it. Add a little bit of highs to it. Same with my Odd Easy, like a $900 gaming headset and having an adjustment like that on the fly. I was like, all right, it's not really gonna do much, right? It's gimmicky. No, it's not. It is so cool and so innovative to have this right on a controller. The simplicity is key. Plug and play, plug it into your device, plug the 3.5 in here, bam, and set your settings as far as audio. In game. Quick, easy adjustments right there. It's so simple and it works perfect. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you can even mute your mic right on the controller here. Again, as far as any headset, you don't have to use the button on the back of your headset anymore. So, wow, everything we just talked about there. I mean, you guys gotta be with me. This thing is packing a stinking punch, right? I've been praising it through this whole video. I know there's gonna be people down in the comments saying, oh man, this is the paid off review. This is a sponsored review. No, I truly and honestly love this controller and will continue to use it after this review. I love it. It's packing so much. The simplicity, the features, the build, the price tag, guys. This controller is only 60 bucks. Wow. I mean, come on, like seriously. The audio controls, the, I can just sit here, go on and on. No fluff here, guys. At 60 bucks, I hands down stinking love the Turtle Beach Recon controller. What would I like to see, okay? What would I like to see? Turtle Beach, please make this wireless. A hundred bucks. A hundred bucks wireless right here? Wow. Wow. Please make that happen. But right now, as is at 60 bucks, I can't recommend this enough. If you use a controller on PC, or if you play a lot of Xbox, pick this controller up right now. You'll thank me later. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this review. Hope I helped you out. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. Hey, I hope we catch you in the next one. Bye now.